So the time has finally come. My grass is almost completely back and it's finally time to show this uh, tractor in a way that you guys haven't seen it yet. Even I haven't seen it yet. This is going to be the first time I'm installing the mower deck on the X758. So uh, I'm going to try to make this fairly short. I don't want it to be too super long, but uh, the first thing I did was go through it, make sure that I have all the grease fittings lubricated and then the gearbox lubricated. So I just used the regular multi-purpose John Deere grease on all three spindles and the drive shaft. Um, I just realized I still need to do the little U-joints. Forgot about those. Just a little bit of grease in them. And then uh, use the John Deere GL5 80W90. That's what I used in the gear case here. There's a plug on the side, super easy. Just pull that out and uh, check to make sure it's level with the fill hole. So uh, that's what I got there. I have the deck lowered to the ground. Gauge wheels are loosened. Uh, the front draft arm is flipped all the way forward uh, and the drive shaft is on the hanger. So everything's ready to go. I'm going to drive the 758 over this thing. All right, so full disclosure, this was actually my second time doing this. You can see that little black thing right there. It's a little piece of rubber grip tape. Um, I ended up putting that under the each side, and then there you can kind of see a piece of it under the front. Uh, on this smooth concrete here, the deck moved a little bit. Um, I have a long piece of toolbox foam that I think I'll put down under it next time I take this off. That way it doesn't slide around so much. But uh, <clears throat> overall, driving over, it's pretty cool. Uh, it was pretty easy. Uh, I just had to steer a little bit, of course, when I got on top. But uh, you can see it's locked in here on that side. And then if I take you around to the other side, we're locked in there too. So next we'll go underneath and uh, hook up the drive shaft. So there you can see the drive shaft or the PTO for the mid PTO. Uh, I'm going to just clean that off real quick. It's kind of dusty and dirty. I'm going to clean that off real quick and then uh, we'll be back and we'll slip it on. All right, I'm going to attempt to do this blind from kind of behind the tractor just so you can get a really good view of it. But I'm going to lift the drive shaft off the little hanger. Oh, it moved. Okay, hopefully, hopefully you can see. So I got the drive shaft, it has just a quick connect on it. So we're just gonna pull it out up to that splined end. And you might have to try to rotate it just a little. I helped to pull back on the collar on it first so that the end's sticking out like that. And then uh, I think it'll slide on a little easier. There we go. Then tug on it and it's locked in. That collar will have automatically moved back forward. Yep. We're good to go. So it's not going anywhere and uh, now we can uh, work on the front. Now we're gonna hook up the front draft arm. So with this, you wanna make sure it's in the slot down there and that this is uh, has this bend uh, on the ground side rather than facing the tractor. Uh, this may look a little bit different. I have the nose wheel kit. 
Uh, I have a video uh, of this deck that shows the install of that and the part number and everything. So if you're interested in a nose roller, uh, the 54 and the 60s don't come with that. So that's an extra add-on. Um, other than that, another thing when I was putting the brush guard on, I saw a note in there that you have to remove it in order to install the deck, which you do. It's a little bit of a pain, but luckily it's easy to get this uh, brush guard on and off. So I'm just going to do that quick, show you how quick it is. It is. It's that easy to take it off. So it's a slight annoyance that you have to do it, but uh, luckily it's you know pretty easy to do. So from there, you're gonna pull this up, hook this into those bottom hooks there, and then you're gonna rotate this up, pull back on this pin, and you're gonna lock it into that hole there. And your front draft arm is connected. So at this point, the deck is completely attached to the machine. Uh, from there. You can put your brush guard, whatever, back on. Uh, I now am going to have to uh, level it, make sure all the measurements are right. Uh, I'm going to put that in a different video because I wanted to keep this short. Uh, but you can see there, um, really easy to hook up the deck on these X7 series tractors. So uh, the four-wheel drive ones like this, you can drive right on over it like you saw me do. Uh, if you get one of the two-wheel drive versions, so either a 730 or a 750 um, or the 734 or the 754 uh, you'll have to back over it uh, which isn't a problem either you'll just back over it and then drive forward slightly to lock in your rear pins so uh, yeah that is it uh, hopefully you got what you needed out of this video hopefully I covered anything there's really not a lot to it it's super simple install so so yeah, any questions or anything, of course, let me know. Other than that, thanks for watching. Have a good one.